now we are going to see give the decimal give the decimal for shaded part give the decimal for shaded part uh, this is exercise already we have seen all the examples now we are going to start the exercise let's start the problem this is one box this is another box so first one is a whole number so next i segregate into 10 uh, divisions or 10 parts so this is the decimal part otherwise we can call it as decimal number so give the decimal for shaded parts so what are you going to do so this is one this is a whole part so you have to add with what decimal part so answer is one point how many decimal decimal parts is shaded one two three so 1.3 so 1 is a whole number this is a decimal point and 3 is a what it's a decimal part after the point we can call it as 3 tenths so how we are going to write that is 1 point 1 point you have to write like this 1 point 1 point 3 this is the way you have to write the what write write in the word form 1.3 1 is a whole number 1 is a whole number whole number and this is a decimal point this is a decimal point and that is 3 this is what this is 3 tens i have told you already after the point we must use tens first digit is the first digit after the point the first digit comes you how we are going to uh, uh, what read this number this number is tens so three tens that is what i have written three tens i'll repeat once again this is one box this is another box so i've drawn two boxes here so one is a whole number it is completely uh, what, shaded so i don't want to show it of you so next one is decimal part i segregate to 10 parts so decimal part otherwise we can call it as a decimal number this is a one whole number this is a this is this is one box that is what i've written one so it is a whole number so how we are going to write this how how we are going to write this diagram as a decimal what decimal how we are going to write this diagram as decimal but especially we have to mention this uh, shaded part so how many parts i've shaded because a uh, first uh, is a whole uh, diagram it is a um, it is a box it is a whole diagram it uh, after that the same diagram i've drawn but i segregate <laughs> into 10 parts but i've shaded only three parts in black in color so we are going to write this uh, what we we are going to write write it in, write it as a decimal what decimal form we have to write it as a decimal form the answer is 1.3 so 1.3 as a what written form is a written form written form as well as how you are going to read so read uh, you can read read it as 1.3 and written form is 1.3 so 1 is a whole number and point is a decimal point 3 means 3 tens after the point we must uh, after the point the first digit comes how could you read this digit it is called as a 3 tens after the next one is the next this is a a sum and this is a b sum this is one diagram this is one di diagram this two squares are drawn this is a whole number so one square and two square we have to write two squares that means two is a whole number after that the same square but i segregate into 10 parts but i shared only three parts in red in color so what is the answer for this how could you write this uh, diagram as a decimal form 2.3 so 1 plus 1 2 2 is a whole number and after that the third diagram i segregate into 10 parts a 10 region then after that i shaded three parts that is what 2.3 this is the decimal number decimal number is a 3 by 10 okay here here also 3 by 10 the decimal form is 3 by 10 okay here also 3 by 10 so the answer is 2.3 as a decimal form so how you are going to write 2 point 3 you can read as and also this is also a written form and after we are going to write this is what uh, 2 is a whole number 2 is a whole number okay 2 is a whole number 2 is a whole number and point we can call it as a decimal point decimal point and 3 after the point the first digit how could you read 3 tens suppose this number is 4 means 4 tens suppose the number is 5 means 5 tens you have to read okay this is the exact decimal form okay ma